Yeah, sometimes ignorance is definitely bliss. Real one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I had one do that to me the other day. Well, it's like when they hit it and they go right into the weeds, it feels like you load up on a real one. Yeah. Not a bad pike though. No. Hayward bait and tackle. That's where I got that drifter, 100 bucks. And I actually like it more than, you know, some of the more expensive ones that they had there. It's like, yeah. But I didn't realize that it was a fiberglass pole. Hey, they hit hard. They do hit hard. That suic is doing work. Where are your pliers? Just swing him over here. He's got one in him. Mm hmm. Well, like, that big, they don't do any of that. See him? Oh, shit. Yeah, I did see him. I'm sorry, that was probably a poorly timed cast. That wasn't a big one. It wasn't bad. Mid 30s. I'll get them, guys. Don't worry. Me and I'll miss First them. follow on the d bait. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was a dick did. <laughs> he kicked off pretty hard though. Well, yeah, I mean, you just heard a I'm sorry. Whoa! <laughs> the one time you don't want that, yeah. and it happens. Shut up, Alex. I was almost about to call you Jay for a second, Alex. It's not the worst insult ever. That's a tree. Sorry guys. It loaded up and I set right into it like a freaking idiot. <laughs> don't don't boat flip muskies, it's a mess. You can ask Jay the exact same thing. He didn't really appreciate a 37 inch fish behind him freaking flopping around. No, it just kind of happened. It actually might have been better for the fish, if I'm being honest, based on where it was hooked, because then we could just kind of grab it and throw it in the net and get those hooks cut out of it quicker. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go in as deep. I think we're going to work the hole a little bit. Oh, that's a fish. That's actually a fish. He's going. It's a good one too. In the background. Come, oh. come over here. Ooh, he's hooked pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Dude, yes, yes. That's the fish I saw too. I guarantee it is. You're a mean girl, aren't you? That is not a happy one. Not happy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Alex, for putting me on an awesome fish. What do we got, Matt? Looks like we got ourselves the first Chippewa Flowage muskie. Looks like it's an angry one, he too. Is not happy. <laughs> at all. <laughs> not happy at all. All right, buddy. Not a giant. Heavy, mean. Fish. Mean green. Mean and green. Gotta love it. Just a good old fashioned Chippewa Floyd C. Yeah, that's right. Let's see what she bumps at. Yep. I'm, I'm saying 36. Yep. She's not see. very happy. Let's see. 32? No, no, her tail's. Oh. 34 and a half? 35? 35. A little. 
a little over 35. A little less than 35, we weren't yeah. quite to the tail, but. Yeah, that's fine. Measurements are all relative. It's all about what you love. Okay, let me get you back here. That is a thick fish. Future 50 there. Oh. Yep, yep. There you go, guys. Came in the way that she went out. <laughs> Spunky. <laughs> That wasn't Would it hit you like 10 feet from the boat almost? No, it was, it was a ways out there. Oh, got it. Another fish. This is a pike. No? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a pike. <laughs> what the heck? Weed fish. The exact same thing. <laughs> Ripped it out of the weed. Jesus Christ. So you picked up the 12 inch pike. Yeah. Never been there before. Probably not. That was a mean, clean one. That's super cool. Oh, there, I made an episode. You did. I'll have to get this dumped and backed up when I get home. Callie takes forever to shower, so I should have plenty of time to do it. Crazy, though, how that wind picked up, clouds roll in, and then we got a fish. And the cool... Oh! oh. No, that was a real one. That freaking boil is, that is a big boil. Well, so I bought a, I had a new hellhound. It was only like a six inch hell puppy. But it was mm -hmm. an orange belly perch. So same design as this, just orange belly. Alex brought me back here and within a handful of casts, started hitting the pike left and right, left and right. Really? Did you get tapped up there? But after, I think it's probably got about 15 to 20 pike on it already. Mm -hmm. And the paint's already starting to... Holy smokes! Big one? No, it was like the same size. Oh, that was close, holy... All right, good good day on the water today. Could have been phenomenal, just about a hair away from it, unfortunately. Alex put me on the fish. Now he's gonna cook me breakfast, so I <laughs> can't complain about that. Any words of wisdom for the viewers at home, Alex? I mean, like you said, you're only a hair away from a you know phenomenal day. You know, you missed one, I missed a really big one. Just kind of the way it goes. I just say just keep casting and. You, know, you can't catch them from the couch, so there you go. <laughs> and make sure you got plenty of water in these hot weathers. I mean, you, you don't realize yeah. how much energy you really exert. So there's my words of wisdom. Those are, yeah, it's really good advice, especially with the hot temps and making sure you're taking care of your fish. I think those fish were out of the water for just a few seconds. And even, even when you're getting into those upper 70s, making sure they are well taken care of and back and recovering and you know, always use that net time as just time that they can just chill and kind of catch their breath. And make sure that you, you know, you guys got good communication in the boat. Like, you know, he caught the fish, he's jacked up on a fish. I was shaking a little bit, but I jumped right in there for the hooks. You know, a guy that catches the fish doesn't always have to be there. So good communication, make sure your, ho your hooks are close to where you always net or leave the net in the water. And that should be able to decrease your time of that fish really being stressed out. The second you get those hooks out, they don't care, they go upright. They just want to leave, but obviously you got them captured, so that's about all you got to do, and that's what keeps it quick. Yeah, can't complain there, and definitely really sound advice. Having a boat strategy is something that doesn't get discussed nearly as often as it should, and really goes underscored from time to time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it if you like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>